Hello, I'm Entrilithium and welcome to Let's Look at Rise of Industry, which is a strategy game currently in early alpha about having to manage your own supply chains, production, and then selling goods to consumers. Basically capitalism, the strategy game. Uh, it's in really early alpha right now, I think this is like alpha version 2, and I think the plan is to release it in Steam Early Access next year, beginning of next year. You can actually get it right now on like a, a, an itch.io link that I'll put down below and that will convert into a Steam key if you get it. So just heads up if you choose to uh, support it early. We're going to dive in and do some quick start and try and set up some production chains and see what we can have. Bear in mind that this is like a let's look at. So if you want me to play more, just say. Okay, so welcome, welcome. This is our County? I don't know. It's square. What do we call it? Tile? Sector? I feel very much like this might be like, uh, what's it called? Damn it! Words escape me. Uh, Judge Dredd! If I have a sector, but there's too many trees. It actually really reminds me of like SimCity 3000? But it's more sort of, um, obviously like polygon based rather than sprite based. Right. These little black patches are oil. Um, oil doesn't do that naturally most of the time. That would be very bad if it did, but that's that's our oil. It's not like some sort of terrible ooze coming to destroy the world, I hope. And these are the little towns. We've got Sinage. Hello, Sinage. Can I change your name? No. Okay. Walkenham. Silver Tree. I'm going to call it Silver Tree because it's easier. Monksy and Tington Chap. I like Tington Chap and Monksy. Those are good, strong names. Oh, we've got some gas over here. Yeah, that's uh, natural gas, not not wind. Iron ore, coal, lovely location. So, uh, basically you start off with this little county area, you've got little towns around, you can basically sell to the towns and then using some natural resources, use up production chains and try and make some money. Uh, obviously since it's really early alpha, there's only like the basic features in the game. And there is actually, I believe, a PDF that I have which is actually available from the main menu, which says this is the resources and effectively the resource chains to make stuff. We'll have a quick look at what you want to buy. So, you've got a grocery store and a hardware store and a wholesaler. Okay, total population 40,000. What about you? Grocery store, hardware store and a wholesaler. Okay, so we should be able to sell to them. We can use the recipe book over here to actually look at recipes for, say... Apples. So, apple field, orchard. So you need to build an orchard and then make it an apple field orchard. It uses water to produce apples. And we can look at this for, say, something more complicated. Let's look at factories, brewer and distillery, uh, making cider. So, we need a glass bottle and three apples to make cider, which makes one cider. And then glass bottles, we need glass, which we need sand for. It works kind of nicely, actually. You can't click up the chain, you can only click down, I think. Yeah, and that needs a sand harvester to get the sand. So, where are we going to set up and what are we going to sell first? I kind of like the idea of cider. It's a kind of a complicated production chain, though. Yeah, why not? Right, let's try and do cider, because I like cider. Cider is nice. Uh, well, to begin with, we need a sand harvester. So... Building construction. We need logistics, light industry, farms, land-based gatherers, and then sand collector. And then you need to place it like partly over the sea so they can go grab sand. Uh, I guess we'll set you up. There's a lot of resources up here. I don't get in the way of those, so place you down here. Press R to spin it around. Plonk. And that's the sand processing storage area. The actual place where you get the sand will be the sand harvester, which is these little things that you can tack onto the side. So I'm going to tack one on there for now, and that should be fine. That will make us sand. Then, we need to turn the sand into glass, which gets turned into glass bottles. 
which means we need to do factory, glassworks and smelter, so bottles, and the glassworks and smelter also makes glass. So we're going to need two of those. Well, I wonder if we can make one and it can do both. We can probably make one that does both tasks. So we need a smelter. This will take three sand to make one glass, and then it'll take one glass to make one bottle. So we want to go and find industry, glasswork and smelter, and probably place you here, so it's like really nearby. And we'll put a road in between the two. Turn our view around. There we go. Now, we can only produce one thing here. Okay, so we're going to need two of you. So let us go and grab another glassworks and smelter. A road in there. Because they only have one production thing at any one time. So, this is probably a good place to start getting going. We will need to set up our production chain. So, sand collector. This produces sand. We then go to destination. We send the destination to one of these, which we can rename. I'm just going to rename it to something simple for the moment, like uh, glass maker one, just so that we know we've got a glass maker. And then you are bottle maker one, just so we know what they're going to handle. You're sand collector one, that's fine, like you can't do anything else. So we go destination, we go factory, glass maker one. And then it's got three trucks available, all three are assigned to taking sand from here to here. Then, click you. I would like you to take to destination. Oh, we haven't really selected. Okay, uh, yes, glass is currently selected. That is good. Destination. Oh, right, you aren't accepting it. Right, bring up bottle maker one. Production, bottles. And then... It's showing up here. Because it needs to accept the thing that we're sending it. You can't actually send something that it won't accept, so I need to change that around. Destination Bottle Maker 1. And here, we're making bottles. So, we should take the glass from here to right next door. You'd think we could have a hole in the wall or something. Uh, but instead, we're going to waste petrol going across here. Fair enough. And then that should make us bottles. Which we need for cider. Right, let's open brewery, distillery, cider. So we need three apples for each bottle. Very well. Hmm, I wonder what we're limited by in terms of production here. Glass is three sand for one glass. Okay. So you produce. How often do you produce sand? Because ideally, we need you to produce three times as much sand for one bottle. And then we need three apples for one bottle. So actually, we need the apples and sand to be produced at the same rate to get this to be efficient. Either way, uh, we're going to go to farm, orchard. Actually, we'll double check it is orchard. Apple orchard. Yeah, orchard. Oh, what is this radius from the sand thing? I don't actually know what that radius is. It has a radius effect. Either way, we'll place you there. And then we get to place an apple field. I'm just going to place one apple field for the moment. Now, you need water to actually operate. So we're also going to need to place a, a water harvesting area. So we'll go to gatherers. Uh, water siphon. I'll place it all the way down here so I can give room for the expansion. There's no terrain tools at the moment. Those are coming soon as well, so just trying to make sure we don't infringe on that. Because if we expand the... There we go. Oh, and we actually need to add a water harvester. There. One for now again. Right, 
There we go. Uh, water Siphon. Destination. Orchard 1. Okay. And then Orchard 1. Produce apples by default. Good. Each one what produces two apples. And then we choose destination as a brewery. Right, which we don't have yet. Okay, so we need to get ourselves a brewery. So brewery and distillery. Production. Cider. And then we need you to choose your destination as the brewery. We will need you to choose your destination for bottles as the brewery. And then we'll put a road in so that you can actually take the produce somewhere. Choose destination. And then we can go state or commercial. State allows you to sell it effectively out of region. So state west, I assume that means that they go off the map to the west. You get less money for that than you do if you go commercial. So we have a liquor store. Which is actually really far across the map. I thought you'd be able to sell it at the wholesalers. I probably should have checked that. But instead we're going to have to take it all the way to Sinning. Which is 533 tiles away over here. Oh well. We'll compensate by buying some extra trucks. We could put a rail link in. But for now, we're just going to get like eight trucks and sign them here. That's the only liquor store. Ugh. Can you really only sell alcohol at a liquor store? Damn. Right. Let's unpause and see if this works. Come on. There we go. So water's getting dumped in here. Then that's taking the water to the orchard. The orchard is then growing apples. And then the apples are being taken to the brewery. I'm still waiting for an extra apple. We'll see if we end up with a surplus of either of the uh, produce here. There we go. We're making our first batch of cider. Now, because we've got the minimum in collectors, like we've got a minimum sand, we've got a minimum water, we've got the minimum on apples, this is going to be pretty slow. We could increase that later on. At the moment, we are waiting for resources, otherwise this could be going faster. There we go. So we have two lifetime units of cider. There's a lot of trucks. This crop farm is not owned by me. This crop farm is owned by someone completely different. The AI is just building and making... I don't know. I don't know what's taking the crops, but it's taking them somewhere. Right. Uh, right, you're making a cider. That does seem to be stable right now. We'll also be able to see our profit down here. So we've got total income, nothing. Which is great. I assume that we're actually still... There we go. Now I believe that's our cider truck. Taking some cider across the entire map for us. Because we did this in a very smart way. Cider truck, cider truck. There we go. We made some money. 32 grand. I would just like to point out that that is a lot of money for some cider. Is this another cider truck? I think it is. Come on. Oh yeah, each cider truck's worth over 32 grand. So, we actually have positive money coming in now. Five grand last month. Now, if we can just keep that up. What about you? Are you waiting on anything? Uh, you're waiting on both things. If you're waiting on one, I could up that production. Oh! got more bottles, but not enough apples. Okay. Easy enough to solve that. We look at the orchard. Orchard's got so much water right now. What it's waiting on is more apple fields. So we're going to add another field. Um, add one there. Add one there. I'll add one like that. You know what? We'll add two. 
Why not? I'm feeling extravagant. And then you see that we've each got fields that are producing apples that are, well, the exact same rate. And then we should have more apples. There we go in the distillery. Now, the bottle maker, what is your hang up right now? Why aren't you producing bottles? Because you don't have enough glass. That does seem to be the answer here. Yeah, you don't have enough glass. Right, what about you? You don't have sand. Well, that's easy enough to solve. Add another two sand harvesters. So we should produce a lot more sand. We should get taken to the glass maker. There we go, which is making a lot more glass. Which should get taken to the bottle maker. Oh my god, look at the brewery. It's got so many apples in it now. Whoopsie. We could always make another brewery. We could sell, uh, tell them to like distribute the stuff to multiple breweries. Okay, I've got a bottle there. Got another bottle that should be taken over any second. Yeah, this is working quite well. Notice that our side is actually now piling up because each of our trucks is taking it across the other side of the map. Got a lot of cider piling up. Yeah, we've got bottles piling up as well. Which is good. It means that we'll be limited by this building rather than any other. Uh, we can always change that later on by adding another brewery. So we should be maximizing our profits right now. Last month we paid a lot because we were paying for new buildings. So hopefully this month we'll actually make a profit. Building upkeep. Just less than 60 grand. Vehicle upkeep. 15 grand. But we only made 65. We could always try running like our own rail network. Which is something you can do. That seems kind of like it's probably a expensive thing to do. Not cider? Oh, where's my cider trucks? Are you a cider truck? No, the cider trucks are like purpley. No, not purpley. Uh, orangey. There we go. That's a cider truck. Try to click it. There we go. Yes! 32 grand. Right, we just got to get like another two of those. That's one. Anyone else? There. We'll just get more of those going. Are we piling up with cider at this end? If so, we can just buy more trucks. We are. Oh my god, we are. We actually have a lot of cider piling up. We've got eight cider. Uh, let's buy eight more trucks and put them all on here. That's a lot of cider being transported right now. Maybe we need, like, armed guards. Are there cider thieves? You know, just waiting to... Rob your lovely cider shipment. Either way, when that makes it to the destination, we're going to be getting some good money. Oh, we have an alert. Transport problem. Something about apples, I think that was. It might be like destination was full of apples or something. It's gone now, so we're fine. Yeah, last month we were still making a negative. Quite a large negative. I assume it's because we bought, like, yeah, vehicles purchased. 200,000 for eight vehicles. I mean, each vehicle is 25 grand. That seems reasonable. Okay, get to your destination. Give me that delicious cider. Yeah, we lost eight grand last month, but now we've got more vehicles producing more stuff, or taking more stuff to the location to sell. We should be better off. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of money. That's 300 grand. So we're currently looking at a profit of over 220. Damn. All right, not bad. Right, so with our cider set up, funding us. Uh, it's somewhat stable. We're going to have a few too many apples, but whatever. We can look at maybe doing another thing. So, 
What do I want to do now? We could do livestock. Something for livestock. Eggs, maybe. Meat. We need wheat and water. We've got water. Actually, we could produce a lot more water with this water siphon, so that's a pretty good bet. Could we use the already existing production chain here for water? We just need to get some wheat. I assume wheat will need water to grow as well. To get sheep to make wool and meat. And then I wonder if we can use the meat and wool separately. I wonder, there must be somewhere that uses wool. Textile factory. Fabric. Cotton and dye. Handbags, rubber and leather. Work clothes, winter clothes. Winter clothes needs wool and fabric. Okay, so if we combine wool with fabric, we'd be fine. Uh, food factory, food factory. Pies. Dough, milk, and eggs. Uh, hamburgers. Meat and dough. Okay, this is going to be complicated. Dough needs wheat and water. Right, so if we produce a lot of wheat and a lot of water, that's going to be like the basic setup for the very, very long production chain of making ourselves meat for burgers and then wool and textiles and a lot of other very complicated oh this is, this is not something i want to get into right now can we do something simpler is there something simpler we could do we could just drill for oil it's kind of cheap but sure well oil's never cheap but you get the point um gas pump factories petrochemical plant can use gas and oil to make chemicals. We could use coal and oil to make dye. We can make plastics. We can make rubbers. We can make paints. Oh dear. This this is getting complicated. Let's do something simple. We could do something simple like wood, right? Wood it no, that needs steel. Um Wooden furniture, yes! So we need wood from a lumber yard, and then we can make wooden furniture. That seems like a good idea. Okay, gatherers, wood, lumber yard. Sweet, let's do that. Lumber yard. What if I put it where there's no trees? I assume it will. Uh, Still can do it, I guess. Uh, we'll put you here. Okay. And then we will want to get ourselves a factory, carpentry. Network, urban road. Okay, so lumberyard. Destination. Factory. Carpentry. Carpentry. Production. Don't make me a barrel. Make me wooden furniture. Plastic furniture needs wood and plastic. Leather furniture needs leather and wood. Office furniture needs steel and wood. Barrel allows us to make beer, I think, which is something we could do in the future. Uh, destination for now is commercial. And again, I've not picked something close. I should have picked something closer. We'll buy some extra trucks to make this possible. There we go. That's our very first set of furniture there. Now the good thing about this is we can expand it. Once we want to make barrels to make beer, or if we want to do anything similar, we can just change your production and be like, oh, we've got leather now because we've been working our uh, beef. And we've got leather spare. Sure, leather can go here and we can make leather furniture instead. And 
And there's some more furniture. Now, right now, because it's early alpha, you can't actually see the analysis here, which is a shame. If you could see the analysis, you could see product demand, predict price, average price, etc., uh, which would be useful. Um, unfortunately, I think you can't really see any production chain, like, individually. If the production chain is making money, you can only see overall. So, overall, we knew that this one was making money. Now, this production chain also adding, I don't know if this is making money and this is making money, or this is making a small loss for us. I won't be able to tell. How's that production going? It's still waiting on wood. Because you need three times wood to make furniture. Okay. And to be fair, we're still waiting for the furniture to be shipped, so... But I guess we could just make a few more harvesters. Why not? i put one... here... and one here... Road. There we go. It might be that their areas, if they overlap, produce less. I wonder. Either way, for now that'll do. And then we should see. Oh, don't actually change the name of you. Lumbiad is fine. Yep, wood's good. Wood's good. I think we need maybe two more to keep a constant flow of furniture coming out of here. Because we are finding we are running out of wood just. Because make, wood furniture is made super quick. So let's actually add another few harvesters. There's going to be a lot of wood going harvesting over here. Going harvesting, getting harvested. I can words. Words are my strong suit. Oh, we only add one more. Okay. Yeah, we've now got furniture piling up. I think we will buy another three trucks, four trucks, and then just assign those. That should be good. Damn, that is a lot of trucks that Orchard has. Impressive. Now, we could do something simple, like we could sell our extra apples over here if we wanted. But that would be boring. I could go to the Orchard and be like, right, here's another destination. Uh, commercial, sell some apples. Eh. I guess we do have a lot of apples. Monksy wants apples. Okay. Monksy. Take one away from that and put it there. Most because this is a super short route anyway. I think you're constrained by the amount that the brewery can handle. So we're actually going to take some apples and then... Put it in my mouth and eat it! There we go. $713. Or pounds. Oh, no, it's dollars, because it doesn't say dollars there, but it does here. Okay. That's not really worth it. Uh, why give people apples when you could give them a fermented beverage made from the apples and they will pay far more? Admittedly, it's got a very large production chain and a lot of setup cost involved. But yeah, you know, whatever. Capitalism. Whereas you are making a whole barrel of money right now. In fact, we're actually full up on bottles and apples. So what we could do is we could split the production chain into two breweries and have two breweries working side by side. That might work. Or we could set up that much more complicated supply chain because we do have 20 million. I'm liking the idea of the complicated supply chain for the next episode. Yeah. So uh, what we'll do, I think... Is we'll probably end this episode here. I'm definitely looking for feedback since it's a new game and it is, you know, early alpha. If you want me to play more, next time we'll do some sort of super complicated supply chain. Give me suggestions down below about which supply chain you want me to really look into. I'm kind of liking the idea of doing the uh, the meat one that also does like leather, and then we need 
loads of stuff to actually supply the meat and it might do wool and blah, all the complicated things. Because that seems fun and also mind-bending. Uh, so, as per usual, since it's a new game, a new series, do let me know down below. Give me a feedback. If you like, like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. But I've been Atrilisium, and until next time, don't try and set up a produce area over here and then sell it over the other side of the map, because you will pay a fortune in transport costs, although it's still worthwhile. That would be silly. You shouldn't do that. There is actually a way in game to actually see, I think, what each place demands. Like, if we have a look at Ting Ting Chap. You produce water, and you produce crops, destination. Oh, that's the wholesaler. Okay. Huh. But I want to actually look at the... There we go, town. Hardware, grocery, wholesaler. Farms in town. Okay. I think there is a way to look at what you buy. Anyway, I'm going to Until next time, stay shiny.